it's Keegan. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we are going to be talking about what not to bring to college. I have done videos about what you absolutely need to bring to college and what people will forget to bring to college. And this video is do not bring this. It will take up room and you will never use this. These are things that I personally brought and things that my friends personally brought that we never end up using. We wasted money on. And if you're trying to save money, these are some things that you don't need to splurge on. I have two giveaways going on right now. One's on my Instagram and then one's on my YouTube channel. Instagram one is a gift card giveaway so you can just like follow me on Instagram and like find the thing. Yeah, we'll have it here. And then my YouTube one, I'll have linked down below. You guys can win things like a Steve Madden backpack, some school supplies, some makeup. It's great. Go enter both of them. Let's get on into the video. First one is something that I bought because one of my friends told me to buy and it's a sharp knife. I personally do not recommend bringing this because I never really cooked in college. There was a kitchen a few floors down from my dorm and the stove and the oven were like broken. They didn't really work. It kind of smelled like fire every single time you used it. So it made me very scared. Didn't want to catch the dorm on fire. That would have been really expensive. And like a lot of people would have gotten hurt. So like it wouldn't have been a good thing. So I just like avoided it at all costs. Even though my oven and stove were broken, most people do not cook in college. Even if it's not broken, you have a meal plan. And I know this is going to sound weird, but when you're in college and you have a meal plan, you eat so much in the dining hall because it's buffet style that you're not hungry all the time and you're not hungry enough to make food. And especially me, like I only had eight meals a week, which sounds like nothing, but I would get so full that like I wouldn't be hungry for lunch. And by the time dinner came around, I would only be hungry for like something small like cereal a granola bar really bad for my metabolism that's like how the freshman 15 happens i blame the dining hall tea but you're not really going to do a lot of cooking in college and if you want to do cooking i would honestly recommend just playing it by ear and buying your cooking stuff when you get there and having it like shipped to you because you don't want to buy all the stuff and never end up using it your girl did that next thing is a ton of clothes my dorm actually had decently big closets like they're nowhere near as big as like the closets at my house i thought my closet would be like this big and it was like that big so i brought a lot of clothes that i never ended up wearing pretty much wore the same stuff every single day a t-shirt like this and leggings or running shorts i never wore my cute like really little tank top thing no never did i wore like sweats all the time you don't need to bring a ton of clothes to college because you just don't next thing is a tv so i guess this is kind of personal preference if you're a guy you may bring a tv to like play your video games on but if you're using a tv for like cable purposes i do not recommend it i personally never really have the time to watch tv i mean i did occasionally like watch netflix or youtube and i did watch that on my laptop and i probably could have watched it on a tv but then you have to be considerate like is your roommate wanting to watch this too like first semester I had a TV that we never once used and I just think that if you're going to go buy a TV kind of a waste of money because you won't really have time in college you spend so much time studying and like doing schoolwork I know that when you think of college you think of like a social life and you're like oh school yeah cool but school is so time consuming in college I'd recommend holding off on the TV because you really don't have time for it another thing you won't have time for is a Netflix account I know it like breaks my heart saying this I have canceled my Netflix account twice now because I just never had time for it I kept paying for it and I never once watched like a show or a movie. I may watch them at like 2 a.m. when I couldn't fall asleep. I know this like makes me really sad because like I'm obsessed with Netflix but you just don't have a ton of time in college so if your family's paying for a Netflix account like cool but if you're paying for it yourself maybe don't. $10 a month they're actually raising it too and like they're getting the office taken off in like 2020 so like is it really worth it at this point? Okay like maybe but like these next ones kind of go along with the cooking stuff that I was talking about but pots and pans. I brought pots and pans and I thought I was going to cook but I never did it actually wasted so much space because pots and pans are pretty big. I think I tried to make pasta one time and then it didn't work out. The water never boiled and it was like a whole thing and I was like, okay, whatever. So I just ended up bringing them home. Don't bring those. Also, cooking supplies, you know, like rubber spatulas, what other cooking, like a thermometer, I don't know, things like that. Again, if you plan on cooking in college, just play it by ear and see like, do I want to maybe bring like a few things and then if you decide that you really like cooking in college, bring more stuff. In the very beginning, kind of hold off on it. A lot of people bring an extra set of sheets and I personally don't think it's necessary. It takes how long to clean your sheets like an hour or two hours can you like go for two hours without sitting on your bed I mean I personally can I can just sit on my chair it takes up space to have your extra set of sheets and in the dorm you don't have a lot of storage so I just think that if you're trying to save money and trying to save space that's something that you can definitely skip on a wireless printer so I actually bought a wireless printer I used it quite a bit the first semester then second semester I think I used it one time but the reason I say a wireless printer is because my school's Wi-Fi did not support wireless printers it really didn't support a ton of things so I I had like this really confusing thing setting it up. I also know a lot of people had to use like an HDMI cord. So if you need a printer, you can definitely get one. Schools offer, I think mine is like 15 cents per page to print it, which I guess can add up. I definitely spent more money on my printer than I did on my 15 cents per page. It is convenient, but if you are planning on getting a wireless printer, check to see if your school's Wi-Fi supports it. There should be a list of things that your Wi-Fi does and doesn't 
support on your school's website. If not, try emailing someone. Tupperware is something that took up a lot of space for me. My plan was like go to the dining hall and like put food in the Tupperware and I never once did that. The dining hall food is not something you want to eat once, let alone twice. Thinking of the dining hall food like reheated kind of like makes me like nauseous a little bit. I brought Tupperware and I it just wasted so much space. I actually went home a few times and I made food and then like put them in Tupperware and then brought them to my dorm. You guys want to do that? That's cool. But if you're going to bring Tupperware, I honestly recommend like consolidating it. My Tupperware was like a 20 piece, 10 piece, whatever. It's some like big thing. And there were like the little teeny tiny ones that you like put salad dressing in. Like I never use those. They took up space. It was really awkward. Like every single time I'd open the drawer, they like fly everywhere. Planning on bringing Tupperware, just don't bring every little thing. Just consolidate it. Next one is a bike. So I never saw people riding bikes on campus. Everyone, if they're not walking, they're using a skateboard or not using, they're riding a skateboard or they're like the little birds the scooter things like the lime kind of thing you see so many bikes that have never once moved like the little bike rack a lot of people brought bikes and never ended up using it and bike theft is actually the number one crime on my campus i'm sure they're very proud of that, that like bike theft is like the biggest crime because like there could be like a lot worse things if you want to bring a bike go ahead you may never use it and your wheels may get stolen but if you do think that you will use it bring it a lot of people bring skateboards a handheld vacuum is my next one i talked about this in my like video where i talk about what you need you do not want to bring a handheld vacuum if you get a vacuum you want a big boy you want like a regular vacuum you do not want to go around every single little corner of your floor with your little vacuums no you don't want that they break really easily because they're cheap too it'll take you so much time to vacuum next one is a small mini fridge you do not want a small mini fridge you want like the big boy mini fridge like the ones with the freezer small mini fridges do not store really anything small mini fridges are for like elementary school teachers who like store their soda like that's that's what they're meant for they're not for dorm students who have food and drinks and all the stuff that they want to store in their fridge if you're going to get a fridge get a bigger one you'll thank me later on this one i promise you a water filter out well I talked about this before but Brita filters don't really fit that well in mini fridges a dish drying rack so I went a semester where I had one and then I went a semester where I didn't have one and my consensus on like the dish drying rack is if you want to be the type of person who like uses all your dishes kind of lets them lay out be dirty and then clean them all at once that's what the dish drying rack is for but if you want to be the person who you use a dish then you clean it right after don't get one if you want to save money I don't think they're necessary they're nice they're convenient if you want to do everything all at once because my roommate and I just like put all of our dirty dishes in there and then clean them all at once and like put clean ones in there and like let them dry it was nice but like i wouldn't go out and buy one next thing is too many dishes so what i honestly recommend getting is a majority of bowls and then a few plates a few cups i never use my cups i used one cup as a flower vase one time but i never once used the other ones i probably used my plate like twice five times at the most but i used my bowls all the time for like cereal pasta even though i never made the pasta because the water didn't boil i use my bowls all the time for lots of foods when you buy dishes think about that what will you actually use a wi-fi router school wi-fi is amazing yes it does not connect to like wireless printers or alexas but it is the fastest wi-fi i've ever had in my entire life it nothing is blocked on my computer i know some people that got wireless routers and i just don't think they're necessary school wi-fi is free i mean you're paying for it in your tuition so you might as well use it it's really fast you don't need a wireless router and it doesn't really get that jammed up except for maybe on the times where you sign up for your classes because everyone's doing it all at once but if you need to you can go to like a starbucks and do that definitely save your money because you do not need one because school wi-fi is so fast i miss school wi-fi my wi-fi at home is not as fast i really don't recommend bringing appliances other than a fridge microwave and coffee maker to your dorm i know some people brought like toaster ovens or waffle makers things like that i just think it's unnecessary you probably won't use it i thought of this thing where if you really want to cook you can bring these two things but they're probably not allowed in your dorm you could probably catch your dorm on fire so be very careful and make sure you like hide it or you burn down the building I don't blame me i'm not allowing you to blame me but you can bring an air fryer and a hot plate a hot plate is like the little thing they use in tasty videos that's like in place of a stove and an air fryer is basically an oven like you can cook chicken in there and you can also bake cookies in there if you want to cook and you're very passionate about it you could probably bring those two things but like they're also probably not allowed in your dorms be cautious that's all i'm gonna say this one seems pretty obvious but i brought a lot of food that i thought i was going to eat that i never did my roommate had a waffle maker so we had pancake mix and we never made waffles so we just had pancake mix sitting there for a really long time i also had granola that i never ate when you're buying food think like will i actually make this will i actually eat this because if not it's going to be sitting there taking up space probably getting gross and bad extra cloths or towels a few of the lists that i saw when i was moving in said you need like 12 washcloths and four towels and like you definitely do not i pretty much use like two towels and i just like wash them 
washcloths. I don't think you need 12. This last one is school supplies that I bought that I never ended up using. I bought a three hole punch, a stapler, and tape. Never used any of those. And honestly, not to this person, but like if you need them, I'm sure someone else will have them. They just kind of wasted space. So that is everything not to bring in your dorm. I hope that this helped. If you brought any of the stuff to your dorm and used it all the time, like that's totally cool. This is just my personal experience and my friend's personal experience. I hope that you guys liked this video. Make sure to enter my two giveaways. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!